Hello everyone, my name is Jemima and welcome to my How to Self Publish a Book series. I will be sharing my steps to publishing a poetry collection and you can use this as a guide for short stories, essays or anything under 100 pages. So I recently dropped my first book, Needy My Breakup Song, it's available on Amazon. It is just under 65 pages long, there is 50 poems, a few extracts plus the contents page and so this is a short collection. There was a lot of trial and error before I got this out. It was a very long two year process. It was my first time and I honestly had no idea what I was doing. But now after I've done this, I'm ready to start on my second poetry collection book and get that out using Amazon KDP as well. And so today to start with, I wanna to talk to you about why you should use Amazon KDP to self-publish. KDP stands for Kindle Direct Publishing. And so before I decided on KDP, I looked at different ways to try and get my poetry collection out. I've contacted a few publishing companies. I looked at different printing companies, was trying to decide if I should sign my book with someone or if I should self-publish. Overall, I decided that trying to get published by a company wasn't the best avenue because I just keep sending my manuscript and honestly, I just keep getting rejected or I'll get into a position where they want me to pay like half of the fee and they will pay the rest. And that to me just didn't seem, you know, reasonable in terms of my financial situation. And so I decided I had to basically self-publish. And so I feel that publishing with KDP was a really good find. And I'm glad I did my first book with them and I'm ready to do it again. And after analyzing the process to make Needy my breakup song, I have come up with nine steps that I hope to help me with the creation of my next book. Over the next few videos, I'll be going over the writing process, the manuscript, the design, the wrapping, actually signing up for KDP, taking a break from your work, the final edit and publishing your book on Amazon. So this is the guide that I'm looking to use and it'll be a good way for me to be able to see my progress and exactly where I am on my journey. I don't have an exact timeline that I want to get this out, but for the most part, because the writing is done, I do want to get this out quite quickly. And so I've expressed that I want to self-publish because trying to publish with a company didn't work out. However, why, why do I want to do this in the first place? Like, what is the aim of me, you know, carrying on and not, you know, giving up? And so what I asked myself before I started my journey was what were my intentions and my goal for this book? My goal for my books is for me to just be creative and to share my work with a community that will appreciate it. That was honestly what kept me pushing through some of the things that I did, like when I walked away from my book and when I came back, it was because I wanted to share, like I couldn't help myself. I had to share this book. It was something that I needed to do. And because I kept my intentions very simple, I feel like I was able to create a really sincere first book. This book means a lot to me and I'm really just hoping to connect with as much people as I can through this experience. And so when you think about your reason, are you in it for the creativity and the community you can build through it? Or are you also interested in making some money? I mean, a lot of money out of this. Unfortunately, I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news. You would be very disappointed if you get into book publishing especially self-publishing for money like you're not going to make a lot of money quickly from this in all honesty with you guys i make 40p per book sale and i am completely happy about that i am genuinely just excited to make 40p i knew the industry i was getting into i wasn't expecting more than that i was even pleased by the 40p <laughs> when you are a self-published author you tend to make your income from other sources you don't rely on your book sales because the royalties are genuinely so little now if you want to make a lot of money it is possible the way you do it is by becoming a bestseller <laughs> to become a bestseller you have to be amazing you have to sell 10,000 plus copies of your book. And then even from that 10,000, maybe you might be able to have a sufficient amount of income, but you don't know how long that will last you. And you generally want to continue to grow in past 10,000 if you want your book sales to be your main source of income for a long time. To become a bestseller and to set out to become a bestseller, you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself when creating. You have to make a very entertaining or unique book that a lot of people will want to buy. You are intentionally writing based on what people want to see. And that is completely fine. If that is your intention, it is completely doable, but it will require a lot of hard work from you. And then, you know, there are also people who become bestsellers and generally don't set out to be bestsellers. And so it is possible to become a bestseller if you just create a book that you think people need and want to see. So. If you have that in mind and want to create, then think about what is missing and what do you want to see and how can you reach a lot of people and help them or how can you reach a lot of people and make them feel happy or entertained depending on the genre of your book. I don't want you to think that becoming a self-published author, you can't make money unless you're a bestseller. That's not true. 
I'm just saying that if you want to make a lot of money, you need to tend to be on the bestseller side. And so if you self-publish a book and it sells about 100 copies to 1,000 copies per month, you won't make an extravagant amount, but you will make a little bit and that would be a great top of income. And so that's why self-published authors usually rely on other sources of income and the book sales are just the nice cherry on top. And so once you've figured out your reason, it's important to remember it throughout your whole process. If your reason is for the freedom to create or the money incentive or something else, just remember to hold on to it because that will keep you pushing forward. And so now I'm going to share with you guys why I think KDP is a good choice. Throughout the whole process, there are some things that you kind of expect will be easy and some things you expect will be hard. For example, you expect writing to be easy and trying to get published to be hard. Writing will be easy because you've got an idea, there's something you want to say and you're in the flow and you're writing. It might have its hard moments when you've got writer's block or your pieces aren't reading the way you want to. However, writing is your element and creating the manuscript is the easy part for you. And so when you're self-publishing, you have to take on a lot of different roles. You have to be administrator, you have to be editor, you have to be designer, you have to be marketing lead. There's so much you need to do and you become jack of all trades. And the biggest role you have to figure out which can hit level 100 on difficulty is how and where you're going to sell your finished book. This means where will people find your book and how will it be printed and shipped to them. Some new authors go through self-publishing with a local printing service and order a bulk sum of their book and they decide to sell it online themselves or put it in some bookstores and get it sold that way. They do this because they are willing to invest not only their money but their time. To order a bulk sum of your book copies you are going to have to deal with customer service and logistics. You have to be talking to the people who want to buy your book to make sure the shipping gets to them okay. If you order even over 100 copies, you need somewhere to put that. That will take up time and space. And so shipping yourself is time consuming. I was not in the position to either invest my money and also my time because I had a lot of other things to do. And so I needed to figure out a service that will let me print on demand. I looked at a few different websites that were willing to print and ship my book. There was actually very few, like less than a handful that could do it in the way that I wanted it done. And then also to do it with no upfront cost. I seemed to publish completely for free. The only option I found that worked for me was Amazon KDP. I had one con with using Amazon KDP. It was that I had to fit my manuscript into their format. I started the process of my first book and I didn't have it in mind that I was going to use KDP. So I had to make a few changes to my front cover and the actual manuscripts just to make sure it fit the specifications KDP used. And then once I figured that out, everything else was easy. I think Amazon covered pretty much everything that you would need. The website's really easy, the steps are really easy. Something that could be hard, level 100 stress levels pulling out your hair hard, which is publishing your book, getting it out there, through using KDP. It is now something that's easy. To have my book on Amazon, I don't pay anything up front. The only time I had to pay was when I ordered my proofreads. I went through three different proofreads and even with that, it cost me less than 15 pounds. And so that was genuinely such a small investment to make to getting my book to look how I wanted it to look and also fixing any mistakes in the manuscripts that I didn't see while I was editing. But of course, nothing in life is completely free and Amazon take money from you when you make sales. When my book is sold, the profit is split 60-40. And then for my 60% royalty, they deduct the printing and shipping cost. The printing cost can vary. It depends on what you choose for your book, like, you know, the page size, the page color, the trim, and all of that jazz. For example, my first sample was matte, and then the second one was glossy, and the printing cost was different. And making it glossy cost a little bit more, but I was okay with that increase. In terms of distribution, my book is only sold on Amazon, but there is an option to expand it into other online retailers and booksellers. However, my royalties will then drop from 60% to 40%. And so because this process was so easy once I understood it, I was just like, I'm ready to start my next book. I felt like because this book is already two years late, I initially wanted to release this book in 2020. And so I kind of feel like I have a lot of catching up to do in terms of my goals and what I want for my career of writing. If I had bulk ordered about 100 copies or so and tried to sell some stuff myself, I would have had the pressure of trying to get rid of those copies and actually making my investment worthwhile. However, now I just wait for someone to feel a genuine connection with me. They go on Amazon and they grab themselves a book. Like I'm not pushing anyone to get my book. I didn't pay anything up front. I genuinely don't have any pressure over my books getting sold because it's my first book. Like I want people to get it because they believe in me. I know, I know it's probably not the best and I know I will just get better in time. I am still doing my marketing and trying to get some book sales. However, I'm genuinely just trying to build a community of people who are you know interested in what i have to say and i'm honestly being so chilled and relaxed about the whole process like 
for me the main purpose of this was becoming an author it's something i've always wanted to do since i was a very young child i finally brought out the poetry book that i've been holding on to for two years and i am genuinely just so proud of myself and so happy about how easy the process was eventually <laughs> once i understood it i didn't have to stress out and pay a ton of money trying to get my books printed this way made the most financial sense to me and it also made that i could have my book on a platform and people can find my book and so check out needy my breakup song if you want to see my first attempt of self-publishing i will be using this as kind of like a baseline for my next book i know things are going to be slightly different for example i'm going to be doing 100 poems instead of 50 like i did with this one in the next part of the series we will cover steps one and two which is writing and producing a first draft manuscript thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it and want to follow me on my journey to publishing my next poetry collection remember to like comment below subscribe ring the notification bell so you know when i post and i'll see you in the next one bye